What's going on internet? We have an awesome video for you guys today. We're doing the final assembly of my freshly rebuilt 351 and we're gonna put it, we're gonna finish building it and we're gonna put it back in the car, hopefully in two days. So to get you guys up to speed, I blew that 351 up last summer, I think like August, September time, or it was in October. And we were at the Brew City Banger Drift Event at US Air Raceway over in Wisconsin. sad I just blew up the engine in the Mustang and it finally let the ghost out at the drift event so I ended up damaging that bore bad enough where I had to break out another block so which is super exciting because this is the OG 351 block so the first time I ever learned how to do the swap and learned how to put a 351 in a new edge Mustang it was this block so kind of cool uh, thankfully this block was only 30 over and these Weisco forged aluminum pistons are 40 over So I was able to punch this block out 10 thou and put my forged Weiscos in and obviously since we detonated and blew up the engine We got two new pistons for the front cylinders and I was able to reuse the back cylinders So this time around we are at 9.2 to 1 compression and we upgraded cylinder heads and have way more airflow coming into the engine so hopefully we can make more power and have some durability this time instead of trying to do a hardcore race engine build so we right now need to start putting the front timing cover on then we're going to put the oil pan on and then we're going to have to go through the full witchcraft of the valve train and the cylinder heads. So You know it's going to be a good video when Mark breaks out that how to build small block Fords. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dude, it's my favorite book. So, I, so I've been messing around and tinkering with 351s for six, seven, eight years now. So Almost a decade. Eight years now. This is my fifth time rebuilding a 351 of some sort whether it's to upgrade it or the motor went pop. <laughs> so this is round five, baby. Let's see if we can get it right this time. We'll show you the rest of the parts as we go through the video and start to put it in. So I'm about to get dirty and I always like to do silicone, specifically this ultra black Permatex with paper gaskets. Seems to be the hot setup that works and doesn't make stuff leak. So I'm about to get dirty and put the whole front dressing on and then we'll go ahead do oil pump and the oil pan and all that stuff after. Yeah, then of course we're going to put the, the heads and everything on and it's going in the car this weekend. This weekend. So. Here's the progress I've made so far. We got the timing cover and the water pump on. That stuff is all torqued down. Oil pressure sensor, oil filter to keep the junk out. I just got the oil pump installed and you can see here's the drive shaft. This drive shaft gets spun by the distributor and that's what spins the oil pump. So I got that all torqued down and ready. I got my one piece oil pan gasket on and right now I am cleaning the Ford Racing oil pan. And as soon as this is all done and cleaned up, we'll be able to put it on the car and then we can start working on valve train, heads, all that good stuff. I wanna show you guys this oil pan really quick. 
So this is the Ford Racing oil pan for a 351. And you can see it's got, this is a seven quart pan. And it's just this little square here with trap doors on all sides. And then it also has these oil baffles. This whole plate would go in and install right here. So this just keeps most of the oil from going to the front sump and it tries to trap it and bring it back to the rear. It's a really nice oil pan. I've been super happy with it. I've never had oil, oil pressure issues after I got this pan put on. So I'm gonna finish cleaning that oil pan up, get it installed, um, then we'll flip the motor over and start working on the top end. Marking TDC on your harmonic balancer. You see I have the cylinder one piston all the way up at TDC in the middle of dwell. I'm at zero on the indicator because I set zero for the middle of dwell for the piston. And then before I put the cylinder heads on, I make a mark right on the harmonic balancer at the timing spot. So I know exactly where zero is. That's how you mark TDC on your harmonic balancer. So now that I've got that done, I can start putting all the lifters in the bores, set the sp dog bones and spider down to hold it down, and then we'll start doing head gaskets, cylinder heads, and the rest of the valve train. And then of course we're gonna double check. We're gonna do like two more passes, checking the torque, make sure all the fasteners are tight. Damn. I just had to take a pee break, so I was dying. It's go time, boys. What's up guys, it's a brand new day. Um, we couldn't get it all done last night. So Marcus is almost ready to start his engine. We need to finish bolting up the exhaust. He's gotta check his timing and put the air filter on and we're almost ready to start it, right? Mark, we're almost ready to start it. That's right. So yeah, we're about to bolt this exhaust up, which is what you guys just saw. We kinda got it started last night, didn't finish it. And then uh, just a few more clips and we're going to hear this thing run again for the first time. And then we'll know for sure if Mark has built his engine correctly. That's right. The first start's always a little nerve wracking. You never know if you got all those tolerances right.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. That's gonna be it. Uh, but before we leave, we wanted just to remind you guys that we've put some brand new merch on our website, crownracingco.com. If you haven't already, go to crownracingco.com and check out our brand new designs. Maybe you'll like one. So we have the big crown logos embroidered on our heavyweight t-shirts. We also have the small crown logos in gold and black, much more casual design on the heavyweight t-shirt. And then we also have hoodies with the old design, also embroidered. And of course, we have the new logo embroidered on the hoodies too. So if you guys see something you like, go to crownracingco.com and go check it out. Every purchase helps Crown Racing Co. continue to grow. Thank you so much for watching today's video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Honestly, no, it's yeah. not bad at all. Like I was able to slow down for the most part. That was a little close. Mm -hmm. well, someone was